start off by asking you a question. Do you feel whole? Do you feel complete? These are very, very cool questions. Of course, very simple. But a lot of people don't feel that way. And I have moving, I am moving into a space where I feel more complete, where I feel more whole, and it feels amazing. And a lot of people don't feel that in their lives, and I didn't feel that most of my life, <laughs> let me tell you. But uh, it's pretty crazy. You know, that's what that's what this experience is beautiful, why it's beautiful. And because we get to move from a space of uh, maybe it was feeling not enough, feeling lonely, self-destruction, self-sabotage, pain, and moving from that space into a space where we feel whole, where we feel complete, where we feel loved, where we feel like we love ourselves. And that's the coolest part about this, I think, this journey, this reality, this uh, kind of illusion. It feels amazing to be able to come into that space. And one thing I was going to talk about is pain and trauma and hitting rock bottom because that helped moving move me in the right direction. It's not going to help everyone move in the right direction or what I call the right direction, which is just the ascension path or the awakening path. And the pain is a great teacher and I've noticed that I've learned so much from it because it keeps you in the present moment. It keeps you focusing on yourself, focusing on depth, and it gives you more depth in yourself, within yourself. You have more experiences, you have more depth and uh, depth into the knowledge of your being, and it helps you move you into the present moment. And when you're in the present moment, and when you're conscious and you're awakened at that moment, you can lis listen in and look in yourself and know that you're more than... Uh, you're something more and that you're loved and that you are love. Sometimes it happens when people are have a really traumatic experience. They come out on the other side on a, a, a completely different person because they realize that what was I doing with my life before? What was I doing? I was unconscious. I didn't, I was, you know, using substances maybe to keep me unawake or not feel conf con conscious at all. And I was kind of you know, wasting my life away, I guess you could say, in, in a way. But it's really not. It's just uh, going from this stage, this path of your life, into a different stage, which is really awesome. It was beautiful. And one last thing, topic, or one last little section I would love to talk about is just why is it important to be feel whole? I think it, it, it's important for self-worth. It's important for self-love to feel whole within yourself, to feel complete within yourself because you attract that energy into your life when you feel this way. And I'm not, I'm not saying I feel this way all the time. I feel, I don't feel like it's all, and I'm still working on it all the time. Like, <laughs> believe me. <laughs> but I really like to focus on this vibration of feeling loved and feeling a part of the universe, feeling oneness with source, feeling oneness with everyone around me, loving myself and loving the earth and loving the plants and the birds and the people. Because that's the kind of vibration you'll attract in your life. And I think that makes life way more fun and have a lot more laughter, all kinds of stuff. That's what I like to attract into my life. I like that uh, type of vibration. You attract people that nurture who you for who you are and instead of people that do not like you or instead and you it makes you more successful in general in terms of abundance and it makes you more successful in terms of relationships with other people because you see the light within them and that's what you focus on and and that's the reality you create and the more you focus on people like as them as whole that's more of who they become a lot of the times in relationships of course they're going to be uh, a lot of people that are not wanting help or not wanting to be whole or not wanting to they just want to keep bunking bunking up against the current and being negative but if you if you place yourself around people that are have a lot of light within them more or so forth or just focus some light within themselves a lot of times that grows and that within them the more you focus on it because the law of attraction law of, or just the manifestation within things and even loving people that aren't that positive are pretty negative or and I've struggled with this at times you know people in my life that aren't very nice to me or such trying to forgive them 
and uh, loving them as well. And <laughs> the very last thing, I'm sorry, is why walk this path? Why do I walk this path? And this is where I might start to get a little preachy, I guess you could say. But the reason I like this path is because it's different than any other path. It's truly, truly different. And you get to experience parts of yourself that are amazing, that are truly amazing and loving and whole and complete. And you get to experience energies that most people will never get to experience. These sensations, these energies, and the love, amount of love you can experience when you're on this path of awakening, of ascension. Is amazing you're, you're experiencing whole new octaves of it that not normal emotion <laughs> you shouldn't be able to feel almost like this this is like what I've been living like wanting loving like waiting for this is what I've been waiting for <laughs> this is what the earth has been waiting for humanity to do for such a long time for them to wake up to start to realize their full potential to re realize the love within themselves and if this path is just the old path is boring to me and I didn't like it and it didn't work for me and it was nice contrast to be able to go along that path it was amazing contrast but seeing the people around me not happy and me not happy I was like is that even possible for someone to be happy because <laughs> I don't see people like truly happy a lot of the time it's hard it was hard for me to see that because the people around me were not at all. But now that I have awakened, now that I have been along this path of whatever you could call it, um, the path of love or light, I have been happy. So a lot of the time, like most of the time. And I wish I knew that was possible as a kid or when I was younger. And I wish I had the people around me. But that, besides the point, you know. This is why I love this uh, path so much. But I'm, I'm glad I'm able to share this with you today. And thanks for tuning in and uh, watching. It was really amazing for me, able, for me to share this. Thank you.